In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at post-process effects. In our editor and in the top right, we have our scene outliner, and this is just showing us everything we have in our world at this current time. So we have our cubes right here, and we can select these by just clicking here. And if we double click, it will quickly snap to them, which is very handy. But if we scroll further up, we'll find a global post-process. And here we can apply lots of different effects to our world, and it will happen globally all over the map. So for example, if I click play, let's go down here, click play, I've got no motion blur at this current time, but with the post-process volume, I can go down and turn motion blur up to 1. And there we have some crazy amount of motion blur. Now, Let's say we want to go in this side of the map and we want it to be black and white. And this side of the map, we want there to be lots of depth of field. And this side of the map will have lots of motion blur. So we can do that by using volumes and a post processor volume. So we'll go up here, volumes, and you'll find post process volume. And we'll drag this onto the map. And I'm going to move it to there, change the shape. copy it with control C and then press control V drag this one over here control V again and we'll press E and just rotate it so let's make this turn that on go to zero go to this one and we'll add some field and this one will put loads of motion blur on. Okay so now if I click play we go in here it's now black and white let's go out here lots of depth of field and when we enter this volume we've got lots of motion blur. And one last thing we can, if, let me just remove these right here. We can actually change the blend radius, which will affect when the the actual post process effect is applied. So if we go down, we'll find post process volume settings here and blend radius. Let's turn this up to about here. And let's click play. Now, what this does is when we go towards our volume, it gradually applies the effect as you can see which is very very handy it makes just a nice transition into it that's about it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and please make sure you subscribe for future tutorials thank you very much